Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video, we're going to talk about the Anthropic models available in Copilot Studio. And this is huge because OpenAI had the monopoly, the sole owner of all those models made available in Copilot Studio and building prompts. But now there is competition. Anthropic is coming in and right off the bat, it provides you two models. And this is always good for consumers like us. So in this video, I'm going to talk how you can turn it on at the tenant level and then go ahead and use it when it comes to building custom agents and also building prompts. And yes, there is some legal formalities when it comes to doing this. And I'll talk about that because it's very important for you to be aware of it. I'll also go and share some advice on that towards the end. So stick around. This video is important for everyone. But first, here's my intro video. So Anthropic is fairly new. It started off in November of 2024 to standardize how AI systems, specifically those who build these large language models, should interact with external tools and data. That is where the MCP kicked in as well. One of the key things that Anthropic is recognized for is AI safety. It is one of the first companies to actually introduce the Claude family of models back in January of 2021. And it was actually led by a team which are ex-employees of OpenAI. And the two new models that recently came out was the Claude Sonnet 4 and the Claude Opus 4.1. Sonnet 4 assists with general task and content creation, which is very similar to the GPT-5 Auto. And Opus 4.1 is for deep reason and structured problem solving. Again, very similar to GPT-5 reasoning. So now that you're a little familiar of who Anthropic is and these two models that they have released, let me show you how you can turn this on at your Microsoft 365 tenant level and then utilize that in your Copilot Studio agents. Go to the N365 Admin Center, also known as Mac, select Copilot and select Settings. Under Data Access, select AI Providers for other large language models. On the right, you should see the option for Anthropic. Select it, select the checkbox, and select Allow Provider. Now, even though it has the green checkbox over here, it can take a few hours for the models to show up on the Copilot Studio side. So you just have to wait. Next, let's take a look at updating the orchestration of this custom agent to the new Anthropic models. So to speed up the process, I created this agent. And as you go in over here, the only new things that I've done is I've added this knowledge. I've gone ahead and uploaded a PDF documentation, and then I've also given link to two websites. But what we need to do now is come to the settings on the right here under models for select your agent's model. You should now see these two model options under Anthropic models. There is the Cloud Sonnet 4 and the Cloud Opus 4.1. For this agent, I'm going to go for the Cloud Sonnet 4. I'm going to select that a pop up window comes up telling you, hey, this is currently in preview. So please don't go production with it. I'm going to go and click on continue. Next, I'll come down over here and click on save. And you have to wait for all the changes to be saved. It says this might take a few minutes, but it usually only takes a few seconds. Great. All the changes are saved. So now I can go ahead and close that X, close the next X. So now the orchestration of this agent will use the Claude Sonnet model in the back end. And just to do a good test, I turned off the web search because I want all the information to come from my knowledge. So let me go and add this prompt. I'm asking, what is the current cost for the power apps per user license? And what is the weather for tomorrow in Seattle, Washington? I'm going to go and click on enter just to see how the language model works in the back end. All right, so I can see that it is processing over here. And it's telling me the user is asking about two different scenarios. So it gives me an overview of what it is thinking. All right. After it thought about everything, it's coming up with a new thing. It's like, hey, great. I found information about the Power Apps licensing. And it gives me a summary of that. After it gives me that summary, it says, now let me search for the weather information. So I like the way this processing is going on because it immediately gave me the first thing it found. But it's also telling me, hey, I'm still searching for the weather. And therefore, I'm seeing that it's, it's processing all this information real time, giving me everything also it can find. And then finally, at the end, it gives me this full summary. So there you go. On the top is the first part I asked, which is Power Apps per user license. It gives me a summary of that. Now, weather forecast for Seattle, 
maybe if I was a little specific, asking, hey, specific, asking, hey, what is the temperature for tomorrow? Are there any chances for rain? Maybe in that case, it would have given me more precise information. But since this was just an overview to see how it works, I'm overall pretty happy with it. All this information came specifically from the Anthropic model, which is available in the backend. So this is purely for orchestration on the custom agent using Copilot Studio. Now let's go and take a look at this from the prompt side. For my prompts, I'm gonna to go to Tools, and I already went and created a prompt called Anthropic. And if you're interested about this prompt, I've actually done a whole video on specifically this topic. I've taken the link and put it down in the description below. Go ahead and watch that video. Everything I'm showing over here was described in that video. All right, so you can see that the default model over here is GPT-41 Mini, all right? In the agent, it was 4.0. Over here on the prompt is 4.1 Mini. However, now when I click on the drop down, I have the option for the two anthropic models. And for this case, again, I'm gonna go and select the Claude Sonnet 4 because that's the one for assigned with general tasks and content creation. So I'll go and select that one. And I'm also gonna go and upload a document. So I'll click on that, click on upload an image. This is one of the test CV documents that I have. So I'll click on open, um, I'll click on close, and then now I'm gonna go and click on test. It is going to go ahead and take all of these instructions, process that CV, and then give me the response right over here. Previously, I did that with the 4.1 Mini, and it worked pretty well. And now you can see that the Claude Sonnet 4 also went and delivered. Yep. It is giving me the output that I want following the instructions that I provided. What I'm also interested to know is how does the other version of Anthropic work? So if I click on the drop down and if I select the premium one, here if I'm gonna click on test, again, the instructions are the same, the documentation is the same. How much time does this one take? Is it taking a little longer? Is it gonna provide more information? Let's find out, all right? So I'm gonna patiently wait over here. Okay, so it did take a little bit more time because the previous one was around the 11,000, over here it was around the 14,000. But if I scroll down, Overall, the amount is about the same. So keep in mind, this is all currently in preview, therefore don't go production with it, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Even with this model, I am getting the answers that I'm looking for. So this is how you use it from the prompt builder side. All right, so as far as the legal formalities go, remember in the beginning when we had to enable Anthropic, we went to the Mac, we selected the Anthropic, we had to go ahead and read that legal terms, check the box, and then submit that button. Part of that legal terms is a very clear statement saying that, hey, you are sharing your organization's data with Anthropic. And this is the clear distinction between the open AI GPT models that you're currently using and the new ones for Anthropic. These GPT models that we're currently using, all of them are housed internally in your tenant, which means the data never leaves your tenant. It is very secure. However, currently, because this is all in preview, if you use Anthropic and any of its two models, your data is going to leave from your tenant and go into the Anthropic system and the servers. But this does lead us to our next question. All of this is currently under preview. Is Microsoft going to do the same for Anthropic as it did for OpenAI? Are all of those models for Anthropic also going to be housed internally when this goes production? I mean, it does make sense, right? In that case, there will be fair competition between Anthropic and OpenAI. This is something we will see and time will tell. Hopefully, this video has been useful to you. And again, as a quick reminder, don't leverage these Anthropic models for any of your production work. And if you only have one tenant, then utilize Anthropic for knowledge that is already available out in the public. Do not use it for internal knowledge. And as always, keep using Copilot Studio. Hey. If you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.